How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to another Dynamic Projectiles video. In this video we are going to be making our rocket and it's going to fire from a bazooka. Now I went ahead and I did some drawings here because I didn't want to waste your time and your drawings will be yours and mine's just kind of temporary art that's pretty bad. So what I did in our object weapon is I added a new ID called ID bazooka and you can see that I just took the colors from the machine gun and the pistol and I kind of just tried to make as close of a bazooka as I could in this style of art. So the other thing I did was I took our origin point and I just I took our origin point from the machine gun and the pistol and I just right clicked and hit apply to all animations so it applied it to our bazooka and then I took our bullet same exact thing. So everything is the same here no big difference you should be able to do that fine. The next thing I did was I added a new sprite and I called it object rocket and the reason why I did that is because yes we could continue to add to our original object bullet and we can add the animations with the IDs just like we do with the weapon but it kind of gets confusing and you kind of want to have ultimate control over the rocket. I mean you could do this with code and that might be the way that you want to do it but I'm going to have this rocket object separately in case I want to add some crazier things that might get tripped up with our bullet type. So all I did was I created a new sprite, I believe it's 10 by 10 or it's 10 by 7 and it's my attempt to make it look like our bullet but just kind of in a rocket form. Now the only other thing I did here was I put our origin point to the left. So please take this time to just make your drawings or whatever you want when, or you could just download this cap file and you can play around with it yourself. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add to our rocket object, we're going to add the behavior of bullet. Now this is going to have different parameters, but we're going to get back to that in a second. So once we add this, let's go over here and let's double click and add a new particle effect. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this rocket effect have a lot of impact. And I think I'm going to be setting it up so it kind of works exactly how I want in this video, but in another video, I'm going to save it because I'm going to show more impact effects that we're going to do kind of, I don't want to spoil it yet, but we're going to do more player impact effects and then we're going to do explosions and stuff like that. So this is our particle effect, and this is going to be for the trail of the rocket. Since the rocket's going to have so much acceleration to it, it's going to leave smoke behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just hit Control V because I've had this little drawing that I drew before, kind of pasted here, ready to go. And let me let me try that again. Actually, no, let me just hit Crop. There we go. And this is nothing great. This actually, I don't think looks good at all, but this is going to work for our smoke particles because this is just gonna fire outside of the gun and it's going to kind of trail the rocket as it goes. So it'll all be quickly and it's not something that we need to worry about, but you can spend more time making this look like actual smoke. Maybe you could have, uh, maybe you could have more shading and stuff like that that I didn't add. So that's all we need for our particle effect. Let's exit out of that, and we're going to tweak this again in a bit. Let's just move it over to the side, and let's call this our object particle rocket. And let's hit save. Okay, let's continue to set up our rocket. So let's go to our rocket and let's go to our bullet behavior. Now, our rocket's going to be slow because we're only gonna be able to fire one at a time. So let's change the speed from 400 pixels per second to 50. Then what we're going to do is we're going to up the acceleration because we want this rocket to come out of the bazooka very slowly and then have it accelerate and crash into the wall or the enemy. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put this to 500 and this is going to create an amazingly high impact effect for this rocket. So once we're done with that, let's hit save and let's go to our particle and let's tweak that a little bit. For our particle parameters, let's click on our particle and let's scroll down and we're gonna get all these properties. So let's change the rate because we don't need that many. So let's change the rate from 50 to 25. Then we really need to change our spray cone, which are these two red lines. So let's change that from 60 because it's just too wide. And let's put it all the way down to 20. And you can see when I hit enter there, this is going to be our angle that the particles will spawn in. So it's, you might even wanna put it lower, but I think 20 will work for us right now. 
The next thing is we want our speed to be really, really slow with our smoke effect. So let's put it down to negative five. That's extremely slow. Let's go next. The initial size of each particle, we're gonna put that down to 10 because we made it 10 by 10. And then the only other thing I think I wanna change here is our grow rate, which is going to change. So if our bullet or our rocket collides with something, hopefully some time will have elapsed and the smoke will have kind of evaporated and when it evaporates it might expand so what we're going to do is we're going to put this to five for now and we're going to see how that actually expands when the bullet gets destroyed to start this let's go into our player event and let's program our bazooka so what we're going to do is in our weapon type function we're going to copy and paste the machine gun and we're gonna change it from machine gun to our ID bazooka, just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna kind of delete some of these things here. We're going to delete our audio for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to spawn our rocket. So we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're going to still spawn it from the image point bullet, but we're just gonna change out the object that we're spawning. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set the weapon rate. So originally, and for these two weapon types, our weapon rate was really, really fast. This is a bazooka, and we want this to be very, very slow. So we're going to have to come up with a system eventually so we cannot spam this weapon. So you have to either find more ammo for it or you have to wait. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to change this to two. So that's going to be two second wait times. So you're going to hit the button and or you're going to hit X and then it's going to fire the rocket. And then you're going to have to wait two seconds before you can fire it again, which is actually going to work fine. So what we're going to do next, is we're going to change the weapon type from machine gun to bazooka. And then if you want to have a knockback, you can, and we're going to change our screen shake. We're going to make this a lot more violent in magnitude. We're going to change it from four to 10 and we're going to leave 0.2 because I don't want the duration to be longer than that. We might have to add some more things here, but the first thing that we need to do is we just need to change our object bullet to set the angle to 180 to have that be our object rocket. So let's go all the way back object rocket, set the angle to 180 and hit done. So now if we hit save and we hit play, let's see what happens here. So, oh, you know what? Okay, let's go back. I need to fix a few things here. We need to go into our layout and let's go to our rocket. And on our rocket, let's go to our behavior and let's add a new one called destroy outside layout. And then let's go back to our player events and where we are pressing B just for right now to switch between our weapon types, let's change it from machine gun to bazooka. And once we're done with that, we can test this out. Let's hit save and let's test this out. And when I hit B, there we go. Our bazooka pops up and let's see if our rocket goes nice. And we have a nice big screen shake there. And if you'll see, after it spawns for a few seconds, then it takes off. So it's go slow and then it just jets out of the frame there. So we're going to have to set up collisions and all the other stuff. But for right now, it's working the way I intended it to, which is great. So in our bazooka weapon type, let's actually spawn our particle. So to do this, let's hit add action. Let's go into our object rocket and let's spawn it from the rocket. So spawn an other object. Click to choose particle effect and we can leave these both at zero and let's hit OK. So once we do that, let's see how that performs before we go any further. So let's hit B and there we go. OK, so now we have our smoke effect, but it's not exactly moving with our bullet. So to do this, let's go back to our layout. Let's go to our particle and let's add two behaviors. The first behavior is going to be a pin behavior. And then the second behavior is going to be a destroy outside layout behavior. So let's go back to our player events and let's go back to our bazooka weapon type. And let's say afterwards, what we want to do first is we want to, hmm, um, now I'm thinking, you know what? It's okay. Let's just actually pin our particle effect to our rocket. So let's go down, pin to the spawned rocket. And let's see how that goes. And if we need to make any adjustments to that, we will. So if we hit B real fast, and I want to point out that we can actually fix the Y position of our bazooka here because it looks a little off, but we'll do that in a bit. So if I hit X there, there we go. That's the effect I was looking for. And it kind of trails off and it looks 
awesome. So now you can imagine that with sound, it kind of works. Ooh, that got stuck. I'm not sure why that got stuck, unless it hit the collision or it didn't destroy outside the layout. Let's see. Hmm. I'll have to take a look as to why that got stuck, but for the most part, this is working perfectly. Is there something over here? Let's see what happens if I move my collision real fast. Live testing. Interesting. It didn't destroy outside the layout. So that's okay because we're going to have collision that will destroy it anyway. And I'm not too worried about that bug. But everything is working the exact way we wanted it to. Now we have our particles spawning and you can tweak your particles. This might be a little bit too extreme. But the way that we set it up, it's performing with the right speed. You might want to change the actual spray cone or no you might you might want to change the rate you might not want to have so many you might want to go down to like 15 and if i hit save here and play that real fast let's see how that looks there you go something like that i kind of like it with more actually but you might want to just mess around with it and see what you can come up with because that is basically the rocket effect so we're going to go back and we're going to tweak all of the collisions and all the other things in the next video when we go over other things that that will help the impact especially of our rocket. We're gonna do the positioning of the bazooka, we can do all the other stuff that'll come with that and just other enhancements. We are going to do a, I'll tell you now, we're gonna do a dust particle effect so when you land, it's going to spawn a dust particle effect for the player. So that'll look cool and that's something you can also do with a run effect. I'm not sure if we, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna combine all of this into like an impact effects tutorial and it'll be a lot longer than this one. So thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you learned a lot. Again, I am Jeremy Alexander. Leave a comment and like this video in the comments. I will be sure to answer any of your questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.